A lot of stress, time, and effort. Uh, I've been put into this, so a lot lays on the line here. Wish me luck. All right, so today is gonna to be a fun, interesting day. I get to live the life of a sponsored athlete. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a sponsored athlete by EarthFed Muscle. I've been using their products for five or six years now, and I truly believe in them, and that's why I am a sponsored athlete by them. Uh, so today, get to head to Garage Strength EFM headquarters to do podcast, photo shoot, meet and greets, all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I know they're doing a big product launch, which we'll talk about more when we get there. Get to meet some of the other athletes. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a fun, just vloggy kind of normal day. Let's go. Garage strength. All right, let's go inside and see what's popping. Shuttleworth, funny stories. I actually competed against him in a galaxy far, far away for weightlifting, where he was just continuously trying to clean and jerk over 400 pounds like a beast. In 98, right? You're 98? 94, 94, my bad. So, my name is DJ Shuttleworth. I'm the manager here at Garage Strength. Um, so, I compete as a nine, competed as a 94 and now compete as a 96. In training, I've hit 55 and 155 kilo snatch, and I've clean and jerk 200. Wow. On the platform, my best clean and jerk is 196 at a national meet, and for a national meet, 147. Hell yeah, dude. So, I still gotta so are you competing in the future, or what are your goals moving forward right now? Yeah, I'm gonna compete at the AO finals in December of this year. Hell yeah, dude. And then what are you doing for garage strength in terms of managing? Like, what are you, what's the average day for you? So, an average day for me, from eight to 10, I'll train people, then 10 to maybe 12, one o'clock, I'll do some online programming, pre-built programs, manage our online clients, and then from two to eight, I'll again train people and manage the employees around here, set up schedules, everything like that. Nice, and where can people find you and what you're up to? So, you can find me on Instagram, Big Daddy D 0713, July 13th, that's when my daughter was born last year. Awesome. Oh yeah, congrats. All right guys, here with Jacob Horst, and he's gonna introduce himself, badass weightlifter, okay? Talk a little bit about his accomplishments, and then we'll kind of dive into like what this gym and atmosphere has done for him, yeah. so. Kill my man. Who are you, what do you do, and who's your daddy? No, I'm kidding. All I right, that so, backwards. Yeah, so actually Joey's my daddy. Uh, no, <laughs> but yeah, I'm a 67 kilo weightlifter. Um, I've won two senior national championships, and I've competed at the junior world championships in 2017. Um, so basically, I lift heavy things, snatch and clean and jerk. Um, I had a re I was a wrestler growing up, coming from a wrestling background, and uh, growing up in PA, everybody wrestles. So yeah, that's basically what I do. So at Garage Strength, what is like? What does it embody? Like, how has it made you who you are? And what are your favorite parts about training here? Yeah, so actually, um, Garage Strength really helped me in my life. I have kind of an interesting story. I'm not going to get like too far into depth, but uh, you know, I was going down some some bad paths um, growing up. Uh, a lot of family issues happened, brothers um, got arrested and stuff like that, going to jail. So uh, Dane really um, helped me. He introduced me to the sport of weightlifting. He kind of guided me um, to be like a better person, to kind of pick my life around. And uh, you know, I kind of just fell in love with the gym. I never was a gym rat. Like even when I wrestled, like, I never weight trained at all. Um, I didn't have any experience in anything like that. And uh, I mean, here I am now. Yeah. You know, I just you yeah. Never thought you'd yeah, Garage Strength was really just like a family to me. You know, like they embodied me to like 
be a better person and like I want to be good for Dane like I want to be good for like my teammates and like now I want to be good for myself but yeah I mean garage thing means way more to me than just the gym we're actually gonna shoot a podcast with uh, Brooks Miller behind me I'm Brooks I'm Dane's brother I'm Dane's big brother so I'm actually older I'm the older okay. brother so I'm the one I'm the one who always beat him up <laughs> um, yeah right he's balding <laughs> Yeah. Right on. So what did we just get done doing? So we just finished uh, the Root podcast. We did how Thor got his hammer. So we talked a little bit about Loki, a little bit about Thor, and you know the Norse, the Norse gods. And what were some common themes you would say, real quick, that we were talking about? Tricksters, tricksters, and and, and those guys who are always scheming. So so like. How does scheming, uh, I mean, potentially how can scheming be bad for you, but also then how, is, how can scheming help you? And how can, uh, how can being somebody who can respond to positives and negatives in life and come back from it, how does that help you as an athlete and as a human being? And where will we be able to find that podcast? It's on the Earth Fed Muscle website. So we, it's, on, it's actually on iTunes. Okay. It's on Spotify. Um, look up The Root. And if you can't find it under The Root because we just started doing it, if you, if you search for Ed Shoe, was one of the first episodes. So E-D-S-H-U. It's the only thing that comes up under Ed Shoe. Awesome. But yeah, follow the podcast on iTunes. Follow it on Spotify. And then uh, on the website, there's a link uh, straight to the podcast awesome. too, on YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Super pumped. Earth Fed just released their collagen supplement. Uh, which is called the missing link and I got me some of this I've never taken collagen ever but I'm really pumped about it because it helps with inflammation and connective tissue as you guys know strength sport athlete lifting hundreds and hundreds of pounds every day for training you got to take care of not only the muscles but the connective tissue to keep performing for the long term so really pumped about this stuff dissolves easily in water and I uh, just can't wait to give it a whirl but you guys definitely want to check that out because that is important all right so a little bit of downtime I think I'm gonna train here actually uh, get a little bit of my nationals programming in out of the way before we do a commercial for the new pre-workout that I just tried which was actually amazing and tastes literally like lemonade which I'm super stoked about um, so Let's go. So today I had to do uh, deadlifts, three at seven, three at eight, three at nine. Worked up about six, 60 or 670-ish, felt really good. Um, then I did push press, three sets of uh, three reps at uh, 275. Felt really easy, but I did the Murph yesterday, so it's definitely playing a little role in my fatigue today. And then finishing with some high incline neutral dumbbell press, five reps, a couple sets uh, with the hundreds. Feeling good. Um, like I said, just trying to get something in while I'm here. And then uh, we're gonna do a uh, video for the new Stampede that I tried. And uh, then I'll be back home. Use that strength log. This is behind the scenes footage of my Lemonade debut career with Earth and Muscle and Stampede. I've been practicing this role for centuries. A lot of stress, time, and effort uh, I've been put into this, so a lot lays on the line here. Wish me luck. Ooh. Dane, what are you doing, man? You're supposed to be working. I never work. <laughs> I just gotta get my, my my little pump going before I got my 17 hours of travel. All right, so, so you work a lot, and now you're traveling a lot, so tell us like what your schedule's like for the next two weeks. So rapid I'll be fire going right now. Go. Rapid fire. Today, Philly at four o'clock. So we have our, our photo shoot for Earth Fed Muscle. Right. Did a podcast with Joey. Twelve o'clock. Driving to Philly. From Philly, we're flying to LA. 
LA. We're flying to Fiji for Junior World Championships for weightlifting. I got two girls competing there. After that, I will be flying to LA. From LA to Austin for NCAA Championships in, in uh, track and field, I got a hammer thrower and a discus thrower. And then from there, I'm gonna come back to Philly. And then that Friday, we have a competition here for a shot for like a Pan Am qualifier. And then the next day, Saturday, June 8th or 7th, uh, Gwiz is competing at the World Team Trials in Ruck at Rutgers to, to make the World Team. So if you want to be at the level you want to be at in terms of business, life, whatever, is there such a thing as balance? No. <laughs> yeah, the balance. The balance, this, if this is a seesaw, it's like this. Here's me just getting destroyed. So you gotta do that. That's what you gotta do. And, it's, and I think like for me, it's like, I see the sacrifices now and I see like, you know, two to four years like this and at some point I'm not, it's not yeah. gonna be able to continue, but, but macro, I, you gotta think long yeah, big, macro. big picture is what I'm always thinking yeah. and dude, I'm lucky my wife's super supportive. She's always buying into what, what we're doing and she sees the vision, she shares the vision and that, yep. that makes it really beneficial to raise a healthy family and then operate multiple businesses and be successful. Oh yeah, you're a busy bee, Mr. Yeah. Gain. Yeah. All right, so that's a wrap with the EFM Garage Strength uh, shoot for sponsored athletes. Really good day. Had a blast. These guys are just top notch people who care a lot about the athletes. And in fitness, sometimes that's not the case. And it's more about money than it is, you know, the health and quality of what's being put out in the industry. So that's why I trust these guys. That's why I like them and they endorse me and uh, I support them. So back on the road to head to my job. Life is crazy, but that's what you gotta do. Beat up, still got in the deadlift, still got in the logs. Right got the lats from the pull ups and then the calves because I never run. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on dude, let's go. Come on. Good. Come on. Let's go. Yep. Easy, dude. Come on. Nice. Okay. So are you gonna like one motion it or Maybe. Like split jerk? I don't know. You just confuse me, man. No one knows what you're doing. One motion the first one. Whatever happens after uh, that, yeah, yeah, see how much yeah. oxygen I have left in my head. Okay, good. 